Hey guys, today I'm going to take you for a little walk through some of the old buildings at the John A. Roebling Sons Wire Company in Trenton, New Jersey. Their most notable project was the building of the Brooklyn Bridge, and I'll plug a few clips in the beginning here to just give you an idea of some of their accomplishments, but there's another video that you should definitely check out. I'll plug it down below if you're interested in more of the history. Completed in 1883, the Brooklyn Bridge is one of the most influential structures ever built. The Golden Gate Bridge, with a span of 4,200 feet, also used Trenton-made Roebling rope. But if bridge building was the foundation of the Roebling family business, the Sons Company did not live by bridges alone. Roebling supplied rope for Lindbergh's Spirit of St. Louis, among many other airplanes. Heavy gauge cable was used not only for bridges, but also for cranes, bracing buildings, and even, starting in the 1940s, for ski lifts. In 1974, the Roebling operation shut down permanently. This industrial second story floor is something I've never seen before. I'm sure it's pretty common, but uh, it's actually blocks of wood that are like brick sized with the grain sticking up. And that's how the entire floor is. Very heavy duty. And I guess some moisture has gotten on them and they're swelling and buckling up. But uh, it's kind of neat. I've never seen that before. Like from afar, it almost looks like bricks. But it's not. But you can see these are treated with like some creosote, looks like. Or something that's really toxic. You know where they're in good shape. That's what they look like. See some people definitely been sleeping in here. It's definitely the penthouse up here and uh, hasn't been used all too recently based on what I'm seeing, but definitely people, someone living up here or a few and they wake up to a spectacular view of Trenton. It's 
the old section of the Roebling plant that's been redeveloped into a shopping center over there. So eventually they'll they'll do something with this too. I'm sure. Oh look at that. You can see the Tullytown dump all the way over there. Eh, you probably can't see it on the camera, but it's out there. You see that mound? Yeah, that's the dump. You? You guys see anybody else hanging around or what? Uh, cool, all right. Up top here has got the pimp spot, man. It's a penthouse up like four stories up. It's really, really pretty view of the sunset up there. It's awesome. Uh, what about that one? What about it? Uh, Nobody inside now. Oh, it looks, if you go inside the bottom there, it's, uh, it's different. It's all concrete pilings and stuff. It's neat. All right, man. And I took off with the drone and I, I hit a wire. She crash landed about 30 feet away, it looks like. I think it's up on top of that building, but I'm not sure. Well, I think my only option is to just climb up on this roof. There she is. I see the light over there. There she is. Right, well, that was the place I was trying to get footage of, but I pulled a rookie move and clipped the power line. I'm back here another day just to take a few more clips and maybe put a cap on this video, but check out this. I'm inside of the uh, old boiler chimney right now and look at all this brickwork so freaking awesome looking and the rungs are still there to climb it oh yeah these are uh these are still good i'm not going to climb all the way up since they are a little compromised in certain areas but tell me that's not amazing looking i don't know if the camera's capturing justice on this one <laughs> In present day, you can see phase one has been completed. We had the shopping center, uh, the old rope works has been converted into the Roebling lofts. I'm pointing at right there. Uh, I believe they have some office office space in this one. And then you have the, the whole shopping center. And the buildings we were walking through are located right over there. So um, eventually they're gonna develop all that probably into more housing. It's kind of cool how they left the skeleton of the building here and you just drive right right under it. By the way, in the early 1900s, there was a fire that destroyed most of the buildings in this complex. I say it was more than likely arson because the fire alarms had been cut and then they were pretty much rebuilt immediately. You ever want to grab a beer at a cool place? Stop in the Klimat Cafe. Good times over there. Feel a little out of place though. <laughs> Actually, hey, look at this. Burned December 1911, rebuilt 1912. I don't know if you can see that up there. I thought it was 1917, but I'm sure maybe there were a few fires. The kind of cool thing about these lofts is I remember when they were building these and I actually rode my XL600R through the building. There was, uh, the bottom was all open and it was still abandoned, but they had started working on it and I was ripping up a couple stories. There was actually ramps to get to the next story. And possibly one of the coolest things is this Route 129 used to actually be the Delaware Raritan Canal. Went from the Delaware River to the Raritan River and now they've paved it. And of course that was a long time ago, but one of the other great things these people living in the lofts have is the Hamilton Street train station, or Hamilton Avenue train station in Trenton. So you can run that all the way down to Camden and then catch a, catch a line over to Philly too, which is nice. Back to my truck. This video is focused on the Trenton Roebling complex, but he actually built, uh, well they built a steel mill in their own town, Roebling, New Jersey, about 10 miles away. Uh, another guy did a great video on that, I'll plug a link to, to it down below, but essentially that's been all demolished and I mean of course the town still stands.
right across from the old Roebling factory is the Klinmon Cafe. And I was in here the other night. It's a pretty interesting place. It was once known for its seafood, but I met an old guy, Tony, who's 76 years old. He had been coming here for 40 years. He told me when he first started coming here, it was all Italians and uh, he was Puerto Rican. And he said they would kick him out and uh, beat him up outside for coming in. It's now mostly Guatemalan joint, but they're friendly. I think it's cool that over on the wall they left the original photos from 1939 of the Vogel's Cafe, it was called. And I'm not sure what time, uh, what year this place was built originally, but you can see had the original rail car lines going through it and the Roblake plant was in existence. I just think that's really cool that they left those on the wall.